Hey, how's it going? Today we're going to talk about jobs that make you a lot of money, even though it is harsh job work. MMA started in the 1920s. However, the sport's official birth year is in 1993, which UFC 1 was held in Denver, Colorado. The sport has two fighters come together for the cut throat tension with a knife intense dual situation. Each fighter has a different skill set and training style as well, making it more difficult to predict the fighter's next move. Fighters can make a colossal amount of money to the most popularity which was bound by the TV situation. Elite fighters can easily make six figures, that's a lot of dough, such as bread, not including bonuses for winning a match. The bonuses can become even bigger if a fighter is in a winning streak or undefeated as well. The pressure to win can train hard increases the risk of injury. MMA fighters regularly suffer from facial cuts, broken fingers, bones, noses, and orbital bones as well. Oh, how fun. Stunt doubles are highly trained athletes who perform stunts in places of the actual actor. Stunt doubles jobs are extremely physical. Extremely physical demanding an injury as well. The risk injury from performer or even performing the stunt are amazing to say the least. Stun doubles can also be injured in safety equipment, malfunctioning, or even on set in extreme weather. Stun doubles earn fluctual amount of money on how many jobs they get within a year. The SAG set standards for paying treatments of theater based jobs, including stunt doubles. Even though being a stunt double is a gig based job, you can make a lot of money quickly doing amount of the work. According to the SAG, the typical amount of job is worth $204,000 per year. Amazing. You might not think an agriculture job is dangerous or which you'll be rich. Think again, say the least. You're outdoors within the farm animals and wild animals around you. However, heavily machinery could also easily make sure you're dead or you are not careful as well. In addition, you are working long hours, which means you will eventually get tired, reducing your alertness as well. To top it all off, you are at risk of heart stroke or heat stroke and any other on-job accidents. According to the CDC, in 2020, there were about 11,000 injuries in the world that required you from working. Being a farm or ranch manager is even more dangerous because doctors aren't just across the street, unfortunately. Your fellow workers may also know that some basic first aid just receiving proper medical attention can take a while. You may not earn six figures in this job, but you are still make a pretty penny as well. In fact, you're more than able to make over $100,000 per year. Would you do it? I wouldn't. I love cows, but who doesn't? As a command diver, you will not be cruising through tropical waters and mining fish and coral reefs. Instead, commercial divers inspect, repair, remove, or install equipment and structures. They also may conduct tests or experiment, rig experiments, and photograph marine life or structures. All of this is done underwater. Air or scuba equipment is included. You might also need drills or sledgehammers to do the job. Some of the biggest jobs for this job are perpetrators around you equipment while functioning, possibly becoming trapped underwater. Oh, the horrors of being underwater. Hypothermia, low visibility, and getting injured while using the equipment. Payments depending on the job are about $100,000 per year. Sounds pretty right to do the job. Lovely. Commercial fishermen go through some of the most challenging things, to say the least, to provide fish products to the market. They work long hours as sea hours per day, or weeks at a time, and face many extreme dangers. Commercial fishermen are constantly exposed to the elements of the water and nature as itself. Depending on the captain and the type of fishing boat you utilize, a storm may not get on to your side per usual. Irregularly work hours, long grueling days, and lead to impairment judgment. The dangers increase 
for your exhaustion uh, may increase. On top of that, emergency help isn't really eligible for the day-to-day -day that comes. Sometimes it takes some quite a while for help to come. Despite all that, a successful crew can make a lot of money in a very short amount of time. Way to go, fishermen. If you want to be a seaman, there you go. Transmitter tower climbers inspect, maintain, and repair work on cell. Broadcast wireless internet service and radio towers. Generally, the towers are from 49 to 180 feet tall, and even taller at the same amount of time. Climbers have to get up their own way. There is no bucket or machine to lift them at the top of the tower. Of course, climbers are provided safety harnesses and other equipment to protect them while working on the tower. However, this doesn't mean that their safety isn't 100%. Equipment can malfunction, of course, leaving climbers exposed in great danger. In addition, climbers get exhausted as they get up and down the tower multiple times a day. As the exhaustion sets upon them, climbers forget things and dangerous things happen. This type of job can have that making quite a bit of money as well. Very fortunate. Hopefully their insurance is regulated for this job. I've seen many videos where they climb over 2,000 feet, which is amazing to say the least. Iron workers face many dangers as they build the framework for a building bridge or road as well. For example, iron workers can fall from great heights despite having all kinds of safety equipment. In addition, iron workers risk amputation cuts, head injuries, broken bones, burns, muscle injuries, many struck by an object, and impalement as well. However, iron workers generally have six-figure jobs attached to all faces of danger. For most people, that payment isn't enough for that line of work. Agreeable. You need to feel comfortable in the highness, dangerous places if you consider this job if possible for your life and so forth. To the average viewer, the sport of NASCAR may be an incredibly boring sport, but it is dangerous, to say the least. Who loves left turns? NASCAR. If you love right, don't go into NASCAR. However, the avid fan sees the thrill and dangerous of every turn. Of course, the obvious danger drivers face is crashing, but crashing isn't a significant threat anymore, or at least dying in the crash. Since the fatal crash of Dale Earnhardt Jr. in 2001, safety systems have drastically reduced the risk of crash-related death. NASCAR deaths face dangers from inhalement of fumes, substance of abuse, hearing loss, and dehydration, loss of limbs, and eye chronicle and pain, and burns as well. Oh lovely, go Will Ferrell in the movie of his racing movie. But despite all that, if you can become a winner and driver, you may make an amazing amount of cash. Military bases are run by more than soldiers. There are hundreds upon hundreds of civilian workers that keep on going with the base itself. This means that you have the chance of literally being in the middle of a war zone. In a job like this, some dangers are pretty well implied. For example, if you work in a war zone, you paint a target on your back, just for being a particularly national or associating with the war itself. You can also be in danger from local wildlife and diseases as well, prevalent in the country. Working in a war zone takes someone willing to live and work in a war zone country and sometimes live in a tent without access to basic utilities. You can make quite a lot of money, of course, by filling one of these jobs. Sometimes the pay changes based on the risk of your particular job. How fun. Working on an oil rig can be a number one of things. Not for the faint of heart, of course. You may easily make a six-figure job, but there are plenty of challenges to face with your life. Oil rig workers also face the dangers of storms at seas, being struck by debris, drowning, exposure to toxic chemicals, burning, helicopter crashes, electrocution, head and brain injury, back injuries, muscle strain, and so forth. How fun it may be to be an oil rigger. 
generally get lung variations offset by long stings away from their families. It isn't uncommon for them to suffer mental illness as well. These dangers are compounded by the fact that there isn't a hospital nearby, since you're in the middle of the ocean. There is a doctor for each rig, of course, but there is also the chance that medical equipment won't be equipped to handle every situation. Luckily, the paycheck can be quite hefty, over $100,000. So what job would you take? Quite interested in know down in the comments below. Have a great one. Bye.